Mobile Bank. The new EasyLink card promises more cashless payment options, but the changes that come with it are making some commuters unhappy. Honestly, a hassle of you to change, and like, why not like integrate a new system which like, incorporates both the new and the old, so people don't need to change. Right. But the three dollars is quite irritating sometimes, uh, because like when you're rushing for the train and you still have money inside, but you can't enter, you have to top up. So yeah. Everybody will be will be using it. You'll have to pay for the administration charges. So I think it's okay lah. It's much more inconvenient. Uh. I just prefer the old card uh. Well, there's uh, there's definitely some border. At the end of the day, we are Singaporeans. I don't, you know, what can we do? Apart from paying for train and bus fares, cardholders can use it to pay for items bought from certain convenience stores and fast food joints. Eventually, the card can also be used for electronic road pricing and electronic parking system car park payments. But instead of free gyro top-ups, users now have to pay a fee of 25 cents per top-up. They also need to have a minimum balance of $3 on their cards before they can travel. To sign up for the gyro top-up service, applicants also need to fill out forms manually and wait for up to 21 days for approval. Previously, the application could be done immediately at any ad value machine. Over the past few weeks, many netizens have expressed their concerns about the extra charges imposed on gyro top-ups. And that's why Consumer Watchdog Case is calling for more transparency. EasyLink has not explained why certain top-ups are free and certain top-ups need to be charged. I suppose there are certain costs involved in not saying uh, to explain why certain top-up services are more expensive than others to the extent that they need to get consumers to bear part of the cost. Uh, this is something which I think consumers also want to know. So there is need for explanation basically uh, to uh, gain the confidence of consumers. When contacted by Razor TV on Monday, EasyLink did not respond. However, in an earlier reply to the Straits Times forum page, the company explained the $0.25 cents levy is necessary to recover costs for providing the gyro top-up service. Like it or not, the new EasyLink card is here to stay.